Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and today we're going to learn about Geometry Lesson 7. It is here. First, we're going to talk about counting the squares. Well, first we're going to count this shape. How many squares does this shape have? First, we're going to start by counting the smallest squares. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are 10. Then we get the addition side. Now we're going to move on with the middle size. 1, 2. The 10 plus 2 equals 12. Now for the next shape. How many squares does this shape have? It's pretty hard. First, we're going to count the small ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there are 18 plus one middle size, two middles, three middles, four, five, six. Plus six. This time we have the big shape. One big and two bigs. So plus two equals 18 plus six equals 24. And 24 plus two equals 26. So now let's move on with this question. A pyramid has eight faces. How many vertices does this pyramid have? Well, if it's pyramid, that means if you want to know how many faces are, you probably get x. x is whatever number you want, from 1,000 to 100,000, for, I mean, n, n, there, then, for the Faces, we're gonna plus two. I mean, plus one. Now, for the vertices, we have n plus one. And for the edges, we have n multiplicate two. So, R is have faces and vertices. First, we'll get eight, then, we minus one. It will equal to 8. Then we'll get 8. Then we get. Then when we have 7 because we minus 1. Then we plus 1 with the vertices. Which means we will have the exact number 8. So our answer is 8. Now you see. The, if you want to know how to do that properly. You could check on my screen, my board. This is faces. This is vertices. This is edges. The edges is, for example, edges is n plus one. For example, one thousand. Plus one. I mean, multiplicate two. So one thousand multiplicate two equals two two thousand. Now faces is one is plus one. N plus one. For example, one hundred plus one. Vertices is n plus 1. For example, 10 plus 1. 100 plus 1 is 101, and 10 plus 1 equals to 11. So, now that we've got the good, the, 
Now that we've got the right idea, let's just move on. This time, there's only one question, but this is about a prince. This question includes the, the faces of the prince and the edges of the prince. A prince has eight faces. How many edges does this prince have? Faces of the prince. Do you know what is the faces of the prince? What, what n plus what? It is n plus 2. So instead of plus 2, we say it minus 2. So n is 8. And 8 minus 2 equals 2, 6. And 6, because edges of the friends is actually about multiply 3. So we get 6 and multiplicate 3. And it is equaling to... 80. Now, 18. Now, for the next part, I'm going to show you another one. I'm talking about the vertices. A prince has 10 faces. How many vertices does it have? Vertices is n multiplied 2. So, if it has 10 faces, we get plus 2 into minus 2. N is 10, so 10 minus 2 equals 10 minus 2 equals 8. Now, the vertices is actually multiplicate 2, so N is 8, and 8 multiplicate 2 equals to 16. Now, that those are some of the problems to help you know more about this interesting lesson about geometry. So, see you next time for more fun facts in the next part, Combinatics. It talks about all of the things, logical thinking, arithmetic, number theory, and geometry. It will have each of them in those in Combinatics. So, see you next time in Combinatics. Lots of five questions. Bye-bye.